Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakha, Chodash. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechak Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutation to all since Yerachim. They're lifting up the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and putting their lives on the line as a living sacrifice. Kodash unto our power, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Which Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Recha, meaning Spirit, Kodash is holy. Okay, repeating again, Yahweh is the almighty, the Heavenly Father, which means He is or He exists, or He to be. Yahweh Shai, which means He the Deliverer, or He the Savior. All right, these are the powers of the nation of Israel, the gods, all right, of the nation of Israel, all right. Of course, we being the Israelites, we've been returned unto our power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We speak the Hebrew. It has been returned unto us. And so you have to understand that the Hebrew Israelites consist of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And of course, since we've been scattered amongst the heathen, some of our people look like the heathen. But their lineage, by the way, of their father, all right, the progeny, goes back to a Hebrew Israelite from the 12 uh, tribes of Israel, 12 sons of, of Jacob, all right, which his name was later changed to Israel, which means he, the prince of power, Yasha Allah, in the Hebrew. I'm the brother of Mafa, Great Millstone, Playing Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, PA, and Great Babylon. Coming again with another lesson through the Rechak Wadash, which the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit, if you didn't know. So, I have this wee lesson that was brought to my attention by one of the brothers in the camp here, in which... The video goes in, but you can watch it on your own. I have a re article off of the site thehill.com, and it reads a video shows Detroit cop mocking a black woman. Which there's no such thing as a black woman, the word black means void of light, uh, detestable, you know, things that, of course, that are negative, it has a negative connotation, in which is also a byword, okay, in which the so-called white man placed upon our people, okay, to hide our actual identity, okay, so calling yourself a black person, celebrating Black History Month, and black identity, that's foolishness, okay, because there's no such thing as a black person, okay, you have people that have dark skin, and you have people that, uh, which, you know, this, this, this dark skin or melanated skin, which I must note and be more specific, it ranged from a lighter hue into a darker hue, all right? Then you have, of course, people that lack melanin, the Edomites, okay? When you go back into the history with Cain, the mark that was placed upon him, okay? And he came back as Esau, that same spirit. They, of course, Esau means waste away as he, Aishaw. Adawam means red or, or Edom, okay? They have no melanin. Okay, so you have to understand that, of course, there's no such thing as a white person either. Okay, you have people that have various shades of red. Okay, because they lack melanin, their their skin, uh, th their blood shows forth through their skin. All right, 
so you have it here. This this so called Edomite. This is an actual Edomite cop in Detroit, Michigan, mocking a black woman walking or an uh, Israelite woman. Or really, she. I mean, you could call her a black woman because I mean she ain't um, really measuring up to being an Israelite. Most of these uh, women up here. You know, they don't want to be Israelites. They want to be black. So, you know, in that case, they can be void of light and, and really, uh, you know, fit this actual term. All right. But knowing their actual true nationality is that they're Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, and not black, if you can understand that. It says here a black uh, woman or a dark skinned woman, or Israelite, walking home in the cold. It says here that. A Detroit officer, Esau, posted a video to social media showing him mocking an African American woman, which are neither uh, African, neither American. African go back to Leo Scipio Africanus, is a Roman Edomite. America go back to Ver- America Vespucci, another Edomite. Okay, he, this is a liar. He claimed, of course, he discovered America, right, when there's indigenous people already here, you know. Chris of Columbus, you know, and the islands and such, all right, going on, it says, uh, woman was racially charged ca- captions after she made to walk home in the cold, or quar, all right, Hebrew word for the word cold is quar, all right, it says here, ABC affiliate WXYZ <laughs> on Thursday, Shared the Snapchat video that launched an internal investigation to Gray Steel. It says Steel on Tuesday night pulled over a young bl- uh, black woman, or an Israelite woman, from the probably from the one of the uh, northern tribes, possibly, or Slaki, southern tribes, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, for a traffic stop because she had expired car license tags. You have to understand these chicks, you know, they don't have any hedge and such, no uh, pure, no actual guidance, no father in their lives in which, you know, they're going about, you know, just wanton with no di- discipline, lacking knowledge. All right. Of course, she's been deprived of wisdom and knowledge. OK, you read that in the book of Ah, Yawab or Job 39 and 17 about that. And they make these foolish decisions because if you know anything, if you're in Esau's kingdom, they want you to pay um, taxes, and they of course are looking for you to slip up. All right, they're looking to, to tax you or to give you uh, amounts of fees for everything you do. You know, the, the driving is a privilege. They tax you on that. They get a license, tax you on that. You have to pay to play. And you're literally playing the play Ba Quar in the cold or Baha Quar. All right. It says the woman was identified as Ariel Moore and had to walk home in the cold. The outlet reported, and I, I believe they're not, um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I have read that you can't do these things, you know, legally. And I'm, I'm not, I have to look into the, the actual legal um you know legal the law in the books lock all right but you know there's certain laws in th- certain states and such you, you you know if you of course uh see someone's vehicle all right you have to uh i believe you have to take them to the nearest precinct so they can uh, of course arrange a ride or a bus station or uh, give them a ride home if it's in a certain mileage. So you, you understand that the so-called white man is cruel and he doesn't care about you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? And he's showing his hatred for you day in, day out. So how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long will you be continually foolish and trust in them when he proves and it's written in scriptures that he is your enemy, all right? Which the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, it reads, Never trust thine enemy, for like iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go 
crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Alright, so you're of course supposed to take good heed of him. Alright, understanding that this man, alright, the so-called white man, the Edomites, they're wicked. All right, they're the wicked of the earth, and you can read that in the book of Malachi, the first chapter and fourth verse. Okay, the border of wickedness everywhere they go, they, of course, um, you know, do wickedness, and it's everywhere within their borders and their lands and such, in which they, of course, conquer and call it after their own names and such. As I've mentioned, Leo Scipio Africanus, Americo Vespucci. Okay. I'm going to skip down to verse 13. It says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? You have to understand that the so-called white man is a serpent. Okay, he's sly, slick, crafty. Okay, back in the garden. All right, he, of course, deceived Eve. Okay, through his subtility. All right, which then, of course, Eve brought, of course, you know, that other way of life to Adam. All right, another dark-skinned man. All right, which all of them, them at this time had melon. They had dark skin and such. All right, until the curse was placed upon Cain. All right, but the same spirit was in the serpent. Okay, and just of course to to reinforce that point. Okay, because we prove all things in the scriptures. I'm gonna quickly go to the book of I believe it's the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms 58 and 4, and it reads, "There is poison." Like a, the poison of a serpent, they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth the ear. It says, which will not hearken to the voice of the charmers, charming never so wisely. So going into it, it says that the poison is like a poison of a, of their poison is like the poison of a de of, of of a serpent. All right, talking about the wicked, because you read above it says the wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they're be born, speaking lies. All right, so you have to understand that the wicked, all right, the serpent, all right, they, of course, are near for you. They're your enemy, okay? And they, of course, go and speak lies. As I was going into how um, Eve was deceived by the serpent in the garden, all right. And he said, hey, have it still to this day that Eve is continually going after the Edomites, seeking their love and their acceptance. And the, the Edomites proved that they're not for them. Okay. So I want to go to more of this article and then I'm going to go and read more. And the scriptures actually it says, steal recorded footage of more walking home and shared it on a social media site snapchat with caption reading what black girl magic looks like so what black girl magic look like it says celebrating black history month that's of course a what him the the, the menses chat and is is a a taunting pot by word all right to you he's mocking you all right and he goes about saying these things, all right? That's a curse that was placed upon our people, all right? That's a curse that the nation of Israel have received for our disobedience to our, our power, all right? I'm going to get another scripture. So many scriptures, you know, I'm just going off the talk. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 37. It says, And though... So it become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Whether the whether Yahweh shall uh, shall lead thee. So I'm gonna go to new or the now or right new into that word for astonishment, which is you have here Shema, which it means a waste, a horror, a palmet. Okay. So, of course, when people look upon you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, especially you so-called Negro woman, all right, they're going to look at you as a appallment, all right, which, if you didn't know what the word appallment means, I'm going to get that definition for you. And it says here, for the word appallment, let me see, I'm just going to put in appall, like I'm appalled, like that. <laughs> I'm 
which are Paul, it means here to feel with to feel or overcome with horror. It says consternation or fear, dismay, right? In which you have these people, of course, these Edomites. You know, they look of us, they shake their heads at us and such, okay? At us Israelites, you know, regardless of if we are in our right state of mind or not, all right? They, of course, look at us as nothing but um, less of a mind. Three, what is it, three-fifths of a mind I heard or something like that back in the times of, of hardcore slavery and such. It's still on the books and stuff, all right? They don't regard us. They regard us as nothing but property, all right? Cattle. All right, Kala, you know, not, I'm not going to say dogs, but you know, they, 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 of course, look at us as nothing. All right, just to go into a vein. All right, so I'm going to quickly go into some other scriptures really quick. And it says here that I'm going to go into the book of Lamentations 417. It says, as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. And it says, in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could could not save us. All right, so you have a nation that couldn't save us. All right, you have us where we we are in want of all things. Okay, we have to seek everything and receive it from this damn devil, the so-called white men, Edomites, because they are in rulership. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked, in which, since the wicked beareth rule, you know, we have to of course go to them for everything. All right. You have it here that it says uh, for the word vain, I got the word habal, which it's uh, they got here uh, this breath of vain, vapor, something trans. They got it and so unsatisfactory. All right. Basically, you go into vanity is like empty and such. All right. Okay. And the, this nation cannot save us. All right. When the nuclear destruction comes, you know, you have to, of course, and all the destruction, the Jacob trouble come, the so-called white man comes and with his newer order, comes with the R for the microchip, which is the mark of the beast. If you're not, of course, uh, seeking Yahweh Bashem Yashai for uh, help, which, uh, the Hebrew word for help, I believe, is Izar. You have it here. Uh, they got I. Izar. Yep, Izar. Right here. Feminine. Um, you're not seeking for your help by Shemel out with For your help. You're gonna, you're gonna take the chip and be destroyed. Alright? You're gonna make foolish decisions. Alright? You're gonna be... Uh, Egypt or an idiot and trust your enemy it says here that they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets our end is near our days are fulfilled our end is come our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of of the heavens it's the damn Edomites okay you have it here to this day uh, you know their their national sign, or uh, on their emblems, you know they go about with the the eagle, like the Romans, which the, these uh, Edomites, you know they they were the Romans, okay. Speaking of Edomites, that of course conquered the original Romans and such, Japhites and all of that. When you go into the history and such, you know, because these damn Edomites take other people's actual names and heritages and apply it to themselves because they're hiding from their actual nationality that they're the Edomites the ones cursed to judgment the ones that are going to be destroyed after a thousand years of slavery okay it says our persecutors are swifter than eagles of the heaven they pursued us upon the mountains they lay wait for us in the wilderness. This goes in the history. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go now to uh, the article again and bring out certain points. So you said here it says the 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 video 
also includes commentary between Steele and unidentified officer from inside his police car or police car and it says walk of shame an officer said more walked away Baha Quar in the cold which I said in the Hebrew another said in the video by Felicia and that's some term that which is said you know in the world uh, I mean it's just some ne Negro culture type you know stuff all right by, by the Felicia and I'm not going to get into that because I don't care I don't identify with being a Negro I don't identify with being a spick and I don't identify with being um, a uh, Native American I identify with being an Israelite all right Prince of a power, one of course that or of a higher art, uh, higher um, you would say uh, stat status, stature, all right, which that's going to come in the kingdom, all right. It says here that one of the officers added, it says Monique Mobley Moore's mother told the stations that the uh, remarks were racist. They demanded my child for a reason. Mobley said. It says Detroit police. Chief James Craig said that the body camera footage shows Moore was offered a ride home, but was upset about having her car towed, so she refused and walked. They should, of course, come their dune in a, in, a, in a wee car, and then just did it anyway, all right? They should, of course, did that because that was unsafe. But, again, these devils don't care about you Israelites, and I'm going to re reinforce that continually. They not care about you Israelites, okay? So I'm gonna get this. This is uh, gonna be the book of Proverbs six and sixteen, in which another point about this uh, we article is that it was on what Detroit and Stout Street, which the word Stout, you know, it goes and show you these women are so proud and such, and how Bashim Yahshua is bringing them down, bringing down pun punishment upon them. Judgment, mashapatyams. All right, so it says here that stout, it means from an adjective, see uh, 1300s, pro, violent, and violent, valiant, and strong. And what you have it, these women, these uh, asha, yum, out there, they call themselves strong black women, all right, or black women. Okay, it says here from the French, stout, which means brave, fierce, proud, all right. Also, going back to the Germany, it says, proud, haughty, arrogant, stately, meaning strong in body, powerfully built, all right? And you women are, you, 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 Negro women, all right? You are so masculine. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, took away, all right, your beauty, all right? And it's clearly shown in which when you uh, go to... If I can open up a, another tab just to prove my point. The Lord put ugliness on you because of this, of these things. Which I'm uh, I'm going to explain it to you in a wee moment. Let me see if I can get it. I believe it's in the book. Of, it's either Isaiah 3. Yeah, I have it here. Because the Lord hates this. This is Proverbs 6 and 16. It says, The six things doth Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. So the Lord hates a proud look. He hates you proud women. Alright? The proud looks that, oh, I'm a strong black woman. A lying tongue. You know, you devils, you lying all the time and such. You know, you shouldn't, of course, make the custom to lie and such. Okay? As it's written in the book of Sirach 7 and 12, it says, Devise not a lie against thy brother, neither do the like to thy friend. It says, Use not the matter of a lie, of lie. Verse 13, read again. It says, Use not the, it's like, Use not to make any matter of lie. For the custom thereof is not good. Alright? It's not it's not a good practice to to lie. And you you Negro woman, alright, you do so. And that goes to all twelve tribes of Israel, okay? You all of course lie. Lie on your mind. 
lie to you, of course, the so-called white man. Get him, of course, hemmed up in within the snares of the so-called white man. All you, you have lots to pay for, all right? All that shame you're going to have, all right? And it's time of Jacob Trouble when all your benefits is taken away, all right? Martial law is declared. What are you going to do? Reading on, it says, in the hands that shed innocent blood. So the Lord hates these things, all right? This is going to be the book of Isaiah, the third chapter. And I'm going to go to the ver verse 16. And it says here that moreover, Yahweh saith, because of the daughters of Zion, or to Zion, which is you Israelite women from the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Are haughty, all right? You're proud, all right? Once you go into haughty, you got gaba, all right? Which, when you go into it, it means to to be high, lawfully, all right? Okay? Arrogant in a bad sense. You women are supposed to be shamefaced, okay? And they're supposed to be proud, all right? It says pride is not made for men in the scriptures, all right. It says here that in walk stretch, uh, in walk with stretch forth neck sloth, in wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making the tinkling of their feet with their feet. It says, therefore, Yahweh will smite the scab or the crown of their head, with the heat of the daughters of Zion. All right. Uh, you, you, you know, you may have be able to. to grow here all right which you can see uh if you look in the images of this chick she's you know she got hair but it's all so it's basically rubbish all right isn't it beautiful you gotta of course put chemicals in it put weaves in it you know because they you know don't want to be natural they're so prude and so insecure all right they, they don't even want to of course cover it up to their men because the glory of a woman is her hair and such all right. That's why Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, he's destroying you women, you proud ones. All right. It says here, he says, scab the crown of the heat of the daughters of Zion to Zion, and Yahweh will discover their secret parts. All right, your koba. All right, or your your box. All right, you know what I'm talking about. It says. In that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their, their feet and the coals and their round tires like the moon. All right. And you could go into this. The Lord took away all of these things and going back, going down to verse 24 to the point, another point. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. All right. You women, of course, are supposed to have sweet smell. All right. Fragrance. All right supposed to it's supposed to be delightful to deal with you women instead you have nothing but fish all right because of what you of course get down with all of these men they of course ejaculating semen into you all right which is defiling you okay once you sleep with another man all right you leave your husband okay your husband is your, the man you sleep with all right he plants that seed in you Cuts in you when you're a virgin. Okay. When you break up with him and you get with another man, you're defiled. Okay. And that's, uh, I believe that's in the book of Jeremiah. I could get, we'll get it, but it says, and instead of well set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomach or girton of sackcloth and then burning instead of beauty, so you're ugly. All right. You have a misshaped body. All right. Disproportionate. And you have baldness. These are some uh, some of the a girt and a wit, right? These are some of the, the various curses that has been placed upon you nigger women, all right? <laughs> That's exactly what you are, all right? You don't want to be Israelite women. You don't want to be in order. And that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing this to you, okay? He's going to ultimately take everything away from you, all right? And if you don't return to uh, him through a man of the Lord, you're going to get destroyed, Okay, because you can read that in, in, in the prophecies. Okay, what else I got?
I believe that's about it. I'm gonna just call it, call it that. All right, because I mean this can go on for ages. I don't want to, you know, just uh, carry into it because these women are just wicked. All right, the ones that this fits. Fine, of course, a wicked woman don't don't be offended. All right. With that, I'm going to say, call Allah, Yimla, Yehaw, Bashim, Rashad, Bashim, Rechak, Rabdash, and double honors to the elders and apostles that great those so who well. Peace and salutations to all sister Achim. All right. That are lifting up the names of Yehaw, Bashim, Yehaw, Rashad, Bashim, Rechak, Rabdash. All right. You see it here. Oh, well, video shows black, uh, a Detroit cop mocking black woman walking home in the choir or Baha choir. All right. In the cold. Shalom to the elect. You women better get in order or you're going to get destroyed. Shalom.